The fallen general, described as one of the most resourceful and respectful army officers in the country, was a Uganda National Liberation Army bred soldier that will be missed greatly. General Katumba Mala, the commander of the Defense Forces, said the peaceful comrade was a masterpiece of the dream of the Uganda People's Defense Forces. He's an officer who has served with a lot of pride, serving his nation, and I don't think uh, at any one time he, he had any regrets about serving his country. He has given a good image and a good uh, of what the army is and what an, an army institution can be. A section of the members of parliament and the public and the leaders in the country elogized the fallen general. Uganda National Liberation Army, na na joining the National Resistance Army, nga talina mtawa na Norway chotu mjukila ngu msaja mulunji nyo ya kola mulunji oku kula kuranya ikuangalie. In him there was humility, there was discipline, there was respect for all, irrespective of who and what you are. I believe the country and the military, Uganda, Africa, United Nations will miss him. We have no generals now to count on. Peter Karim just died like that. And uh, today is Oketa. We don't know who is next. So in the promotion ladder, I think the leadership of this uh, government, the leadership of UPDF, must wake up to equalize, to balance the dynamics of the ranks. In 1985, General Julius Oketa surrendered an entire brigade of the Uganda National Liberation Army Force in Masaka, which offered the then much-needed momentum for the National Resistance Army struggle. It was a very courageous officer. It was uh, one officer who would uh, you know, would ensure that if he has give, been given a mission, that mission would be accomplished, uh, regardless of whether he had all that it required, including resources. So he's, he's an officer who, who never had excuses for not, not delivering on a mission given to him. He says Oketa was a loyal commander on the battlefield with traits that remain unmatched to this day. His audacity was reckless with life undertaking field operations that gave a bloody nose to the Lord's Resistance Army insurgency. Uh, he has been involved in many operations, uh, especially again in the north, again in the horror, uh, the Lakwena, remember the Lakwena time, and even the Lord Resistance Army. Uh, he is an accomplished uh, general. Uh, he has been uh, well educated, well exposed. As a deputy to General Salim Sari in the command of the Operation Wealth Creation, General Oketa's demise has dealt a big blow to the architecture of the wealth creation program. Uh, a few days ago, he happened to come to our committee, the Committee on, Agri on Agriculture. And uh, if you remember, for those who are there, when he was, uh, when he was responding to the members of parliament, on the issues of Operation Wealth Creation, you could really see that he had things on his fingertips and had mastered them and had, had a good vision of where Operation Wealth Creation was headed and how it was going to contribute to the transformation of the agricultural sector in Uganda. So his loss is a big loss. It's a quite a big loss, yes. In some of the memories, the commander of Defense Forces, General Katumba Mala, described General Katumba described General Julius Oketa as a delivery man in areas of disaster management. The body was laid in the state for public to eulogize. Aaron Stavarka, WBS Television at Parliament.